Hi, this is Kaiser Chrome here for the Discover Me program. Today's guest is Tom 2.0, a live singer and performer in SL. Hey, Tom, welcome to ENT Radio. Hey, how you doing? Great to be here. Thanks. Well, thanks. We appreciate you coming and spending some time with us today. No problem. Hey, uh, so what brought you to SL in the first place? And, and uh, I have to ask, how did you come up with Tom 2.0? All right. Well, um, so both of those questions sort of like they, they sort of joined together because uh, back in the day, uh, I was involved with a online audio group. Um, it was called PendantAudio.com. And we did like <clears throat> we did uh, podcasts of like superheroes, like su- original, they wrote original superhero stories and then we would act them out. So I did. Yeah. So it was it was a lot of fun. You know, like they did Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. They even did, you know, Indiana Jones, James Bond, things like that. And uh, so I was involved with that group. <clears throat> and um, there was a uh, there was a guy in that group. And just, just th- those guys aren't really around anymore. They're around in a different way. I should say they're they're doing original stuff now, but uh, doing the, the work of other people. Y- you know, you got to be careful with that. I mean, we never got any money for it. it was all given away for free but still the people who own those you know those rights were like eh, yeah we're not we're not we're not good with this so you know and it was nothing bad but you know they were just they didn't like that so we had this they had to switch their uh they had to switch their um their focus so now they're doing original stuff and i'm still involved with them not as much as i used to be but i'm still involved with them they're they're a good group of people you can check them out check them out pendantaudio.com um yeah <laughs> So, uh, but there was a guy also involved in that, uh, and he was a friend of mine. And he told me, you know, because of all my work that I had done with Pendant Audio and all the, like, I did, I had done some audio mixing as well, like actually putting together some of the podcasts, combining sound effects and, you know, uh, music and everything all together. You know, he said, well, you know, um, I'm doing a panel on this, uh, in the sci fi sci fi uh, convention in, uh, in Second Life. You know, he said, you ever hear of Second Life? I was like, oh, I just think I heard of it a while ago, but, you know, I didn't know anything about it. And he's like, well, I'm doing, you know, I have a, I have a panel on there where I'm going to have a couple guests and they're going to talk about, you know, their voice work or their audio work. And I said, why don't you, you know, it'd be great to have you on. I'm like, well, I, I mean, I, I guess. <laughs> I was like, I could, like, okay. I'll, like I'll, I'll check it out. I don't know. Yeah. So, you know. Sounds weird. <laughs> yeah. So I signed up and actually I signed up just, um, a year ago, uh, this past, uh, I think it was past Monday. No, past Saturday. So yeah, just, I, I'm just over a year old. You've got a young one. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. So yeah, I, I signed up and I, you know, I, I didn't really do much. I just sort of walked around. I was like, well, all right, this is different. You know, I had the, the whole noob look going on and everything. Oh, and then, oh yeah. Yeah. Did you you have know, any, like, uh, visible attachments, I hope. No, no, no visible attachments. I've seen that since, but no, not, not back then. Exactly, exactly. Um, so yeah, my he he signed on and he uh, hooked me up with uh, some stuff that he had, and you know, I definitely didn't look like a noob anymore. You know, I was I was dressed up in a. Uh, he, he's a big fan of Star Trek, and this whole thing was going to happen on a Star Trek sim. So I was looking like a Star Trekky, a Star Trekker. You know, I had the outfit, the uniform, the little badge, and everything. So uh, he hooked me up with that, and I, I found out, oh, I could modify the clothes a little bit, you know. So I, I played around with it a little bit and made it look a little bit more like what I would normally wear, you know, in real life. Um, so I did that. I, I went on to his panel and everything, and uh, he got me on, you know, how to get onto voice and everything like that. So I was talking with uh, them and answering their questions, and it was it was pretty fun, you know. And then... Uh, Afterward, you know, I was like, well, what do I do now? <laughs> you know, so that's done. So I just, uh, I started walking around and, uh, started talking to people, you know, just like, cause people are everywhere and they, some people will come right up to you and they'll say, Hey, how you doing? You know, and I see your new. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. How you doing, little noob? Let me take you home and take care of you. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, they'll take care of you. Believe me. Um, so, <laughs> but you know, I was, I mean, I was pretty lucky. I didn't meet any, any bad people or anything like that, any griefers or anything. I just, you know, it was, it was pretty, uh, it was a pretty nice experience just chatting with people. And it was, it reminded me of, uh, like back when I first got, uh, a computer and, you know, in the AOL chat rooms and things like that, you know, it's like you just start talking with people and then you start messaging with them. And I was like, well, this is like a chat room, but just like more visual, 
you know, I was like, yeah, like this is pretty cool. <clears throat> so, and I, I then discovered, oh, that the, I, you know, there's there's outfits they give you to start with, you know, like in the, you know, and I'm like, oh, here's a musician one, yeah. So I went to the and I found a musician one, and I, I was like, well, this this is probably closer. And I put that on, I was like, oh, this is a lot better, you know, this is much much better. And <clears throat> so I had the guitar on my back and everything, and it's such, you know, like I looked at it the other day. You know, because it was my, since it was my res day, I I posted a picture up on my Facebook of when I first started, when I got the you know when I found the musician outfit, and then up to you know present day, and I was like, man, that guitar that I had, you know, that built-in one is not so great. It's kind of crappy. <laughs> and I was like, at the time though, see, because I wore that guitar, and as I walked around, inevitably people would say, hey, cool guitar. You know, I was like. Oh, Hey, thanks. You know, then they, that would start off a whole conversation. That's that's probably how I met. You know, like almost one hundred percent of the people. You know, in that first month there, because they saw the guitar and it was like a talking point for them. So it was <laughs> kind of like it was walking around with a puppy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's it's the same thing. And in an SL, a, a guitar, a girl sees a guitar, they're like, "Oh my!" Well, ooh, he's a perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I wasn't at that point. I was just like, you know, it was just me. You know, and. They they like the idea of the oh look at he has a guitar I wonder you know but yeah so that's you know that's how it all all started right there with uh <clears throat> with him getting me into it and you know it's it's uh it was it was a lot of fun <laughs> you know we yeah there's a thousand stories here that's for sure oh, yeah definitely for our listeners later at the end of our interview we're going to be playing one of uh, Tom's original songs written especially for SL. <laughs> kind of give us a brief description of what your process is when you're writing. Oh, definitely. Definitely. And, oh, wait, you know what? I forgot one thing. I forgot to tell you how I came up with the name. The name, how I came up with my name. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, see, that is related to that uh, that uh, audio group as well. Because when I joined that audio group, uh-huh. there, was a, um, there was another Tom already in that group. And so, like, we would both, we we're both very active, and he was answering posts, and I was answering posts. People would get mixed up. So we said, well, we've got to come up with some other way, you know. And I said, well, you know, I'm the new guy, so I'll be new Tom, you know. And he said, oh, okay, and I'll be classic Tom. We'll be like Coca Cola, you know, uh, classic Coke and new Coke. But then I thought, you know what? No one really liked new Coke. So I don't want to, I don't want to have that, you know, over my head. So I said, well, how about you just be Tom? I'll be Tom 2.0, you know. And from that point on, Anything I did online, I decided to be Tom 2.0. That's, I mean, there there is a there is a imposter out there though. I'll tell you, someone else who wanted he wanted to rebrand himself as Tom 2.0, and he even he even messaged me and or, uh, emailed me and asked me, "Hey, can I have your email? Because I'm trying to rebrand myself online." I'm like, um, no, "I've been using this for like four years now. I don't think I'm going to give it up." I said. May I suggest Tom 3.0? <laughs> you know, and he, he never he never answered, so I don't know what happened to him. But but yes, yeah, so I've been Tom 2.0 for since probably like t- around 2004, I'd say 2005. Yeah, so around that time. But anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to interject there. I just, oh, that's I, okay. All right, so yeah. About your uh, how you uh, what your process is when you're writing new songs. <laughs> well, <clears throat> let's see. I don't. I mean, I have a bunch of them. I don't, uh, I don't write every single day or every single week. It's just sort of like sometimes the inspiration just hits me and I, and I write, you know, um, for that, for the, uh, the song that I wrote about Second Life. I mean, that's the first song that I had written in probably like four months, I want to say. I just been, uh, you know, really focusing on songwriting. I just been playing covers and things like that. And I've, I was playing some of my original songs uh, that I'd written years ago in, you know, in Second Life, uh, but I hadn't really written anything new. And I was just, uh, I, you know, I made some friends in Second Life, you know, and you know, ch- chatting with them, and um, a couple of them were having like issues with other people in Second Life. They were having drama in Second Life, which, which I know you probably you've never had, and I know a lot of listening you guys have never experienced drama in second life because it's very very rare it's rare um (laughs) so yeah uh if you could see my fingers right now air quotes um (laughs) anyway so yeah i was thinking about you know her her problems and the my other friend's problems and i was like man that's that's a lot of stuff going on and i was like you know what 
there's got to be a song in that somewhere. (laughs) And like, I don't normally think that way. I don't normally just go around thinking, oh, there's a song in that. There's a song in that. There's a song in that bottle of water. You know, I don't normally think that. But I was just, for some reason, I was thinking, there's a song in in what they're doing there. Because it was just so, it was, it was, you know, depressing, but it was also, there was kind of a, a amusing thing about it as well. So like, you know, on the way, you know, on the way to work one day, I turned on the uh, I turned on the recorder on the phone. And I just started talking into it, saying, "All right, well, here's here's what the drama is. This is what this person's experiencing, and this and this and this. All right, and then this and this and this. Let me think. All right, you can do this. You, I, I just started talking out loud to the phone, and uh, it, it was only about five minutes long. And I actually have it online. I can get you the link for that, so you can hear the first five minutes when this song was coming together. Um, I just sort of I, I sort of went over what what they were talking about, and I was like, well, let's see." What rhymes with that? How can I reword this? And it was just, it was just like that, just driving to work, just thinking about their drama and thinking, all right, well, here's a good line. Here's an example of their drama. How can I reword that so that the, the, the words will sort of line up a little bit? You know, that's, that's, <clears throat> that's really all it was for that. Um, most times, like I said, just sort of, I, I, something happens and I just get the inspiration right then and there to say, hey, let me see. I, I'm going to write some of this down and see what happens. Um, other times, I'll get a uh, a phrase or something stuck in my head. Uh, like years ago, this is when I was in I think high school or early years of college. <clears throat> Just the the thing that stuck in my head was this phrase: "How do you tell somebody you love them when you don't even know their name?" And I don't know <clears throat> where it came from, but it was just this this idea. I was like, hmm. That's a catchy little phrase. I don't know quite what it means, you know, but it sounds neat. And I think, you know, maybe I can, I can come up with a tune for that. And that's, that's how that song, uh, that's how that song was born. It's another original that I have. How do you tell somebody you love them? So sometimes it's just a phrase that pops into my head and I'm like, boom, all right. I, I like that, you know, so we'll, we'll do that. Great. Uh, mm-hmm. do, you, do you actually uh, perform uh, your music in real life as well as that cell or just one or it's yeah, it's mostly just SL. I mean, <clears throat> I used to be in a couple bands in uh, in real life, and they were they were oldies bands. So like uh, back in uh, when I was in high school and college, I was in the uh, two different uh, oldies bands. One was more based on like Elvis, <clears throat> Beatles, and things like that, and then the other band was uh, based more on like uh, like the '60s type, like uh, the Temptations. Uh, Four Top, Stevie Wonder, that type of thing. So I was involved back then. Um, and then since uh, right, right now I'm in Arizona, since moving out to Arizona, I haven't been in any bands. Um, I've played out a little bit with some teachers. They're friends of mine and uh, um, they played drums and uh, bass. So we would get together and we would play a couple times for the schools, you know, throughout the year. Um, we haven't done that in uh, like two years, I think now. But uh, that's that's about all where we would uh, perform, and it was always covers. We would just do covers. We never did any uh, any of my original tunes. So they didn't really have you know too many really, and I don't know how they would go over at like a you know junior high, elementary junior high setting. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So yeah, so we didn't really do too many originals there. We would just do you know mostly the oldies because that's you know the kids have heard those. They've heard them on TV shows or movies and commercials and things. So we those and they they always enjoyed those and that was a lot of fun but um yeah since uh since starting singing in sl i was like you know i could probably do i could probably do like a you know a whole night you know at like a coffee shop or something like that um i thought i can go to open mics and things like that but however the thing is um you know in sl i can play somewhere at five somewhere at seven somewhere at nine and i don't have to go anywhere you know i have to go anywhere you know, plus, I mean, I have kids, you know, so, you know, they're, they're here as well. So I can't just, you know, just go whenever, you know, we have to make sure the schedule's good and everything like that. So, so it's a little more difficult, um, to perform, you know, in real life for me right now. So, yeah. So mostly I just stick to the, uh, to, to the SL, uh, singing. And, you know, like I said, it's, it's just easier. It's a lot of fun and I can get through a lot. I can do a lot of, uh, gigs, you know, in one day, which I love because I love, I love singing and like performing as well. So it's, you know, it's, it's like a no brainer for me right now at this point, you know, yeah. kind of um, like a performer's dream here. It is, you know, and like I, I mean, yeah, I would love to, uh, would love to go and perform at a, you know, at a local place. I'm, I can be a little lazy when it comes to calling <laughs> venues, like in real life, you know. Uh-huh. 
I used to do that for the bands that I was in back, you know, in high school, and I hated. it. I was like, oh, hey, you know, we got a band. Here's our demo. We, you know, we would like perform. Well, let's talk about this. And what do you, you know, where have you guys played it? And it's, I was like, I want someone else to do that for me. You know, I need, I need a real life manager. I guess you know is what I need. Um, so yeah, it's just it's a lot easier, a lot simpler to, in in Second Life to to do these things. You know. Um, mm-hmm. so- it were, it, would you like to see anything different in SL that you think might improve and provide more opportunities for for, for performers? Well, I don't because there's a lot of clubs. I mean, there are a ton of clubs, and like there's a ton of musicians which I've never even heard of. Especially with, um, I mean, of course, I'm only a year old, so I don't know that many people. But um, I was looking at the list for uh, you know we're doing. Second Life's uh, 10th anniversary, 10th birthday, uh-huh. you know, past week. And there's a list of performers all over the place. And I played at one of the places and I was looking, you know, at the whole list of performers who were on before me. And I was like, I haven't heard of any of these people. And it's like that. And that's only at the venue I was at. And there's like, you know, three or four, you know, shows going on at the same time. Yeah. And there's a, so there's a ton of performers in there. I've never had any idea, you know, uh, uh, hadn't heard of them, hadn't heard anybody mention them. So there's, you know, there's a lot of places, a lot of places to play. Um, I think sometimes some of the places get involved a little bit more with politics, you know, with, you know, it's, I don't know, like, like I said, I've only played out in those bands in real life. Um, and I didn't really see any politics in there because clubs there, you know, in, in real life, bars and clubs, they don't really talk to each other that much, you know? Whereas here in Second Life, clubs and people do because it's so simple, you know? It's so simple to message the person who's on that sim, you know, 10 sims away and say, hey, you know, da 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 whatever. And I think sometimes things can get a little political in Second Life, you know? It, it, I mean, it just goes along with the whole drama thing. It's like, you know, let's let's leave this out of here. You know, there's there's room for everybody here in Second Life. You know, I don't think we need to do that. You know, um, but I think there's just there's a ton of uh, opportunities. I have no idea how to even make that more. I know that there's um, there's been issues now, and I I've only heard about this because it's my first full year. But now that it's summertime, I hear that there's a lot of kids who come on Second Life specifically to make trouble for other people. You know, the first, and I didn't experience that last year because I was just brand new, barely on Second Life. Um, but now that uh, you know I'm performing and everything, uh, I, I hear a lot more about it now. That summertime has come, we got to lock down security. We got to you know involve this script and try this thing out, security wise or orbs and whatever. So I mean, <clears throat> if, if we had better controls over that type of thing, because I know when when griefers hit, depending on the severity of the attack, it could keep people away from coming back to the venue. You know, or you come back to your own show, you know. So, yeah. Well, Tim, mm-hmm. it's been a real pleasure having you today, and uh, we appreciate your time. And uh, can you let our listeners know how they can actually uh, get a hold of you or hear your performances in the world? Well, if you just, if you're on Second Life, if you just search for Tom and then, you know, 2.0, like 2.0, you know, that, that'll get you there. But you could also go, I have a Facebook page, of course, dedicated to, to Tom 2.0. Um, and, uh, I think, let me double check the address on that. It is facebook.com slash the Tommy Pop Tart. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, yeah, That's it's you know, <laughs> the Tommy Pop Tart. It was just a, it was an in joke that I had with uh, one of my friends in uh, in Second Life. We were um, we were we were talking the one day. We say, you know what? Because we we're both on our real life Facebooks, you know, and we were chatting. and said, wouldn't it be funny if we made Facebooks for our avatars? Like, that's a great idea. Let's do that. And so we did, and we did, we had no idea. We thought we were pioneers, you know. <laughs> we're like, we're gonna do this, and we just discovered, oh my god, there's people already here. <laughs> there's tons of avatars already here. So that was just a name that we had an in joke about pop tarts and, and uh, cookies and things like that. So we just it melded into that uh, that nickname. So, well, I, again, I thank you for your time, and yep. we appreciate you. Uh, Spending a little uh, moment with ENT Radio, and um, if I'm uh, not incorrect here, uh, you're going to be starting an actual show on ENT Radio, isn't that right? Yeah, we're working on uh, the time, the date, and everything like that, but yeah, we should be broadcasting one of my shows at least, so that'll be cool. be awesome. Excellent. We look forward to you joining our family. 
Cool. Well, thank you again. And for our listeners, this has been Kaija Kram from ENT Radio. Stay tuned to hear um, Tom's latest uh, original song. And thanks again, Tom. Yep, thank you. in my box, say, babe, how do you do? I think you've got a sexy voice. I think my body's pretty hot, too. We should put them together and try some harmony. Just give me the chance and you'll be begging to get with me. I said, well, hey there, honey. That sounds like a good plan, but, uh, I got here a message from someone claiming to be your man. He's threatening to orbit me right out of the sim. I think I'm gonna bail here and leave it to him. Drama. I'm here to have fun, and there's way too much that you got going on. I don't take things too seriously. I just want you to know if this is how it's gonna be. It's time for you to go, and I don't need this stress. I don't need this pain. I don't really care about your virtual migraines. I just wanna go play. I wanna keep it light, keep this baggage to yourself in this here second life. Cause I don't trauma I'm here to have fun Well hey there girl We've been playing around nights and you said let's get partnered let's get that knot tied but then you turned around to me and you apologized because your real life partners join in second life and he's the way jealous type he didn't like to hear about all that crazy stuff that you and I were doing in here. I mean, I know you're a big baseball fan, but that bat, that bat was huge. I mean, it gave a whole new meaning to pitcher and catcher. Let me tell you, <laughs> you said if I'd like to be your little secret on the side, we could still play around and keep that secret light. No, 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 cause I don't need your trauma. I'm here to have fun, and there's way too much that you got going on. Too seriously, I just want you to know if this is how it's gonna be. It's time for you to go, and I don't need this stress, I don't need this pain, I don't really care about your virtual mind brains. I just wanna go play, wanna keep it light, keep this baggage to yourself in this here second life. Cause I don't need your trauma, I'm here to have fun. You know, it didn't work out, and that's really okay, because there's plenty of fish in this simulated ocean bay. But now your daddy and daughter and sisters too, they're all up in my box crying foul, crying F you. It's quite comical, I gotta admit, the way they role play and for the most part, stick to it. But I signed on for you, not a fake family. Heck, your three-year-old nephew is really 43 Yeah, 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 well, I don't need your trauma I'm here to have fun And it's way too much that you got going on I don't take things too seriously I just want you to know if this is how it's gonna be It's time for you to go And I don't need this stress I don't need this pain I don't really care about your virtual mind brains I just wanna go play I wanna keep it light to yourself in this year second line cause I don't need your trauma I'm here to have fun alright this last verse here this is for any drama that I didn't cover yet so if you got someone who caused you drama send this verse out to them here we go let's do it I see you in a chat range and my blood runs cold you just don't get the hint yeah, and this is getting real old see you. I don't want you near. I don't even want to know you. I certainly don't want you up here. Here's hoping you crash or maybe lag so bad that even clearing your cash won't help you get on back. You are all kinds of wrong. There ain't nothing about you right. Go and play
play with your alts like you play with yourself at night. Yeah, 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 yeah. When well, I don't need your drama, I'm here to have fun. And there's way too much that you got going on. I don't take things too seriously. I just want you to know if this is how it's gonna be. It's time for you to go. And well, I don't need this stress. I don't need this pain. I don't really care about your virtual migraines. I just wanna go play. I wanna keep it light, keep this baggage to yourself in this here second line. Cause I don't need your trauma. I'm here to have fun. 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 I'm here to have fun.